Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on Lil Wayne, how he was just charged as being a felon in possession of a gold plated firearm, and how he may end up inside of a federal prison. Lil Wayne. The five-time Grammy award-winning, multi-platinum-selling hip-hop superstar rose out of the streets of New Orleans, signing the Cash Money Records at just 11 years old. 27 years later, Wayne would be worth an estimated $150 million. November 17, 2020, Dwayne Carter, also known as Lil Wayne, will be federally charged with possession of a firearm and ammunition by a convicted felon almost a year after the incident. December 23, 2019, ATF, FBI, and Miami-Dade police were waiting for Lil Wayne to land at the Miami Opelika Executive Airport. He'd been flying in from California, landing in a private luxury G5 jet worth an estimated $61.5 million new. But you can get a used one for like 12 million if you're a cheap bastard. During the search, they recover cocaine, ecstasy, marijuana, heroin, painkillers, prescription strength cough syrup, and a pearl-handled, gold-plated 45 caliber handgun inside of a designer Chanel bag. Now I thought Wayne was a blood, but it sounds like he rolled over to the cartel. They'd also find just under $26,000 in cash. Investigators saying the rapper appeared high and admitted to owning the pistol recovered, saying it was given to him as a Father's Day gift. Who the fuck gives away gold guns except Call of Duty and El Chapo? Federal authorities seized the evidence, but allowed Wayne to leave with the possibility of a later indictment. Back in 2007, Wayne was arrested when NYPD discovered him and another man smoking near a tour bus. Detaining them, a loaded 40 caliber handgun was found on the tour bus, resulting in a weapons conviction after a plea deal, sending the superstar rapper to the infamous Rikers Island for a year, followed by three years of probation. Wayne was placed in confinement, separated from the general population where he'd stay for the remainder of his 242 day incarceration. The former warden of Rikers Island, Emmanuel Bailey, would go on to say on the Queen's Flip podcast, Wayne was in protective custody, even giving him a name change for his own safety. Who were some celebrities you came across while they were, they were incarcerated? Oh, you know, the one who rapped the song about me, Little Wayne. Rapped the song about you? He said some nonsense about some war, and I didn't take claim for that being me. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He, he said some sucker stuff about the war, you know? Oh, but look God. at Jay, he's a cloud. That guy was a cloud. Oh, hold on. He was, up. he hold was. Up. Hold up. Yo, yo, yo. I hope you didn't think he was rocking in there. Wait, he said he was rocking in the joint? Stop playing. Look at me. He wasn't rocking nothing. Mm. <laughs> you don't want to stop that No, nope, he wasn't rocking. Let's we just... changed the name for him. He, it was PC, and he, I'm not going to PC. All right, we changed the name. He'd allegedly received contraband while inside of the jail and allegedly had a sexual relationship with female officers. Wayne jumped on the Welcome to My Hood remix saying back from hell, cell 23, tell the warden kiss my ass, pockets on Monique, and Drake's lyrics in another song saying, and I was snapping on every single track though, collect calls from the boss like where we at though, ooh, it's our time. He left Rikers in the Phantom, that's mine. I actually used to listen to that song in 2014 when I was in prison getting ready to walk out, but I didn't leave in a phantom though, I had to take the bus. And it was true. On November 10th, 2014, Lil Wayne left Rikers Island in an entourage including a Maybach and three phantoms. If convicted on this new federal charge, Wayne could face up to 10 years in a federal prison, three years of supervised release, and up to $250,000 in fines. A study from last year found that only 2% of federal cases actually make it to trial, with 90% of defendants pleading guilty and 8% of cases being dismissed, meaning the chances Wayne goes to prison is very fucking high. In 2018, the average sentencing for felons convicted for the same crime was 59 months, one month shy of five years, while those sentenced under the Armed Career Criminal Act the average was 15 and a half. The Armed Career Criminal Act being applied when a felon has three or more violent or serious drug convictions 
carrying a minimum 15 year sentence. Now, I don't know how Wayne is going to get out of this. I think it's a 99% chance he's going to be convicted. The question is, how bad are the punishments going to be? Because T.I. had a whole lot of gun charges. I'm not sure if he was a felon or if it was just the type of weapons he was caught with, suppressors and all that craziness. And he got off. He barely, you know, did any time inside of federal prison which really counts, you know, probation for a celebrity, I can't imagine it being that hard, unless you're Wayne and you obviously have a drug abuse issue, and Wayne's lawyer is already all over the case, I don't even know how he didn't get arrested or charged with the charges initially, because Florida doesn't play, even about weed, the fact that he had all those other drugs and didn't go to jail for that, I'm not sure how he got around that but i'm sure 150 million dollars you're able to pull some weight inside of a courtroom with the right type of lawyer by your side and if he goes to prison i don't know how prison would be because he has a gun charge he's a felon in possession of a firearm he could land at a real prison i'm not talking about the little mini low-level custody camps i'm talking about a real penitentiary and if he lands there I'm wondering how the politics are going to be, being that he has that PC title attached to his name from Rikers Island. I don't know if he voluntarily went PC or was placed in PC because I would imagine a lot of things would come back on the jail if a celebrity of his status was attacked inside of the facility. But you do have other rappers like Boosie who was placed inside of PC and wrote to his attorney to get him the fuck off. He's a gangster and he wants to hit general population. I don't really see it as a problem with Wayne hitting GP. He's gonna have to politic, he's blood. He's gonna align with the bloods. I just hope that he doesn't find himself in a situation where he can catch more time while inside of prison. I'm sure based on the amount of money that he has, he would more so be protected inside of the prison. That's what I would assume. I don't know, I've never seen a celebrity of that status inside of a facility. But I hope it works out for the best. We'll stay tuned on the case. It's 1090J, I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me. Till next time.